if a person has a genetically or environmentally acquired excess of copper and it's not treated and they're left with high copper levels, uh, you, you can expect that they would have excess amounts of, <clears throat> of anxiety the rest of their lives. They would probably have a sleep disorder and not be able to get to sleep without some, some kind of a medication or medicine. Uh, they would be prone to some pretty nasty conditions. They would be more likely to, to develop panic disorders, anxiety attacks, um, and they, they uh, would be more prone to um, really serious problems like some of the mental illness issues, including schizophrenia and certain types of bipolar disorder. So some really nasty things can happen with high copper levels. Not only that, they are very prone to physical difficulties, especially cancer, because uh, copper is a well-known um, risk factor for cancer.